Distinguished members of the Texas legislature, honored guests, friends of the United Kingdom, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I really am most grateful to you for inviting me to take part in this very important summit, and I must just begin by apologizing for not being with you all in person, but uh, I can assure you that I am with you in spirit, and through this video, in the lowest carbon form I can possibly command. Now, I'm incredibly heartened that so many of you have gathered together for this conference. Uh, as the world reacts, far too slowly, I fear, to the dangers and, may I say, commercial opportunities that we face from man-made climate change, it is truly remarkable how many conferences and summits are now at last being convened around the world by those just like yourselves, who are working out how they can react. It is one of the signs of hope in an otherwise desperately bleak scenario, scenario of delays, uh, obfuscation and denial. Today, I believe you will be hearing from uh, a wide variety of experts from your state, from across the United States and from the United Kingdom, who will be able to share with you much of the latest scientific thinking on the effects of global warming, uh, the economic impacts of this, and how the rest of the world is reacting to the problem. And there is some reaction. Uh, many of the world's largest and most successful global businesses have seen the science and are trying to do something about it. Some... Sixteen years ago, I established with the University of Cambridge Program for Industry a business and environment program out of which emerged the Corporate Leaders Group on Climate Change. This group is calling for CO2 cuts that are guided by science. They have already offered their support for an 85% cut in global emissions by 2050, if that is what is needed. Uh, members include firms like Philips, Unilever, and Sun Microsystems. Uh, the group's international activities have drawn the support of 150 companies of similar size, including uh, Adidas, Barclays, uh, Cathay Pacific, Cisco, eBay, Gap, uh, Sony Ericsson, Hewlett Packard, uh, Johnson & Johnson, Kodak, News Corporation, Nokia, Nike, Virgin, and Yahoo. Perhaps I should say yippee to this. Uh, these are global brands looking to the future and seeing the need to adapt. 